You're listening to iLive Radio, changing the way you listen to radio. iLive Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me enormous pleasure. I mean, pleasure like you just never known. Right now on the radio, right here on iLive UK, we have the one and only Rena Chanel. Welcome to iLive UK. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Let, let, let's start with the top of this, okay? What's the weather like for you, where you are? <laughs> <laughs> where is it? What is it uh, like? It's, <laughs> it's, it's 80 degrees, if you can believe that, in October. <laughs> it's, 80 uh, degrees. Now, any, anybody that's in the UK degrees. right now, we're jealous of that, okay? Because, <laughs> listen... UK is a beautiful place to be. We've got lots to see, lots to do, like no other place in the world. However, our weather, hmm, you know, what can I say? <laughs> I wish I wish I had what you had today. Simple as that. Well, hopefully cool. I, I, I'm sending you some sunshine. So Please do. Please do that. <laughs> okay, so, you know, how we do it here on iLive UK is just two old friends just talking and just getting to know each other and more importantly getting to know you letting listeners know who you are and about your music so rena first of all let me let the listeners know you are from virginia us of a is that correct virginia beach is that is that precise or yes i'm i'm a virginia beach native but i'm in virginia now okay you are in virginia now Yes, I'm in. I'm in actually in the northern Virginia. I don't know if you know where uh, Washington D.C. area. I, I've heard I, of Washington D.C. I know a few people in Washington yeah. D.C. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually outside of uh, Washington D.C. Okay. All right. I I've spoken to quite a few independent artists out there. That, that's a melting pot of of artists, independent artists out there. You lot got some some pipes and some creativity out there right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's very interesting on, you know, lots of creativity, lots of point of views, which makes it all exciting and keeps things fun. So Hey, love it. Okay, so people, listen to this, okay? Out of Virginia, USA, singer-songwriter, independent artist, who's also a member of the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. You know, for those that are in the industry, we call it ASCAP. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, that's significant because it's all about independent artists getting paid for the work that they do. Okay. So I do need to put that point on it, that any music that gets played on the radio, Rena gets some kind of royalties, not big but she gets royalties still <laughs> all the same, yeah? Okay, so every every little bit helps and every little bit counts, all right? So it's all about supporting yes. the independent artists. Let me say that from the goal. Um, she started off her career with Tracy Hamlin. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, Your professional Tracy. career, I should say. Yes, actually, uh, even bef- a little bit before that, um, my training. Mm-hmm. I used to uh, study voice lessons Take voice lessons with Tracy Hamlin. Right. And, you know, she took me under her wing and taught me invaluable skills and all kinds of uh, things that I even use in, in my training and just how I present myself and how I present, you know, my my art to the world. So that was an amazing experience. I even got to sing on a couple of background gigs for her. And I, I learned so much. I just was... I mean... Kind of- if there's anybody to learn from i mean there's there's so many people you can pick but you know tracy hamlin is one of those that is um well known um very well sought after has a multitude of 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 range that she can can reach she's worked with a load of different artists so if there's someone to learn from that's a pretty good person to you know be kind of a role model within um this kind of industry i would say Yes, definitely, and especially as another female uh, artist, she she was able to really just kind of give me some great insight on, you know, the do's the, and the don'ts. The do's and the don'ts, <laughs> yes. So just very professional, and just yeah, I I've learned so much from Tracy Hamlin. Okay, um, give me a little bit of background. All right, so I know you just haven't come around. You've been singing for many years. 
<laughs> I want. I'm going to ask you this question: Why have we not? Why has the majority? Because I've heard of you from a long time, but why has the majority of people not heard of you until kind of like now? Do you think you can answer that? Yeah, yeah, I can answer that. Um, I originally started on a different path. It was in music, but I was studying to be a classically trained opera singer. Aha! Uh-huh. So that was the path, and um, I was studying for many years, and I even went to. Radford University in Virginia on a voice scholarship. Okay, that was my path. I had done that for a while, and even came to Washington D.C. and sung at a couple of opera opera houses, and that was kind of where I thought that I was going to make, you know, present my gift and and do that as my career. But then, mm-hmm. you know, I decided to make the shift um, a little bit before I had met Tracy, and actually sought her out as as a voice teacher. Okay, that, I, I came to to uh, know her first. Um, All right. But yeah, I I wanted to I wanted to sing other styles of music, and I felt like I had a, a good enough good enough training to where I could uh, put that to good use and really dig into more R and B and soulful soulful music so you know I, I really was excited about that prospect and you know Tracy Hamlin helped me with that transition okay so to me listening to your music I feel it cuts across like and I think I've heard you say this as well um, classic R&B the jazz fused mm-hmm. with your contemporary R&B let's say that's the fusion mm-hmm. and I hear that that comes straight through on the music that you've delivered great but what i really want to know is has that always been there from the from the core like what i'm trying to say is is there anything within your family life or anything anybody that used to sing you know you what you used to listen to when your parents used to play what was that influence that made you come around to let's say because you could have gone and done rock you could have i mean yeah you could have just stuck with classic soul but you know, you've got the jazz element and all that. Where did that come from? Uh, well, actually, definitely from my family. Just listening mu- to music at home, um, we would always listen to Anita Baker and Sade. Those were major, major influences for me, and even in awe, you know, in awe of their talent and just the way they present themselves. And I just always wanted to be an artist perceived in that way. Right. You know, have a solid reputation that could deliver vocally and to have, you know, presence and to be, you know, a really sophisticated performer, I, I guess you can say. But um, the jazz element came early, like when I was a little girl in high school and actually even middle school, I was in jazz choir. So mm. I was always singing and scatting and, and doing that first. So that kind of was you know, my first introduction and love to music. I fell in love with jazz and just being able to do improvisation. And it was just so much fun. You know? are, are there any um, jazz influences like musicians or artists that you really look up to and people that you used to mimic? I'm sure you had your hairbrush in the, in the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure you've done that. We all done it. Come on, man. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so who, who did you look up to? Uh, Probably the key person, I would say, uh, Natalie Cole. Okay. All right. I loved Natalie Cole. I mean, she had these velvety vocals and just, you know, of course, because of who her father is and it's the way that she, you know, the presence, stage presence, and just the way that she could just maneuver her voice so smooth and silky. It just just fell in love with that aspect. I'm like, wow. There's one other person that you forgot, though. Is that another person? Yeah. You should have mentioned Ella. I, you didn't give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to m- mention my top I know, I know, I know you was. I know you was. Of course, Ella Fitzgerald, yes. Great um, Ella. Just amazing talent and and style and grace and just that whole vibe. I just really love that. And I, you know, that's, you know, and it's funny that you said you could hear these kind of bits and pieces from my music because that that's amazing that's what i want so i'm glad you can hear that 100 percent, 100 percent. so um yes. let's talk about uh 
let's say your the first track that you um, came about with, um, courtesy of Raymond Barton off of his uh, 2017 album mm-hmm. "If Only for Love," and that the track yep. the track was called "Don't Give Up on Love." Yes, that I got is that right. Correct. Okay, there you go. All right. Yeah. Tell us how that. That came- was my. <laughs> I've got to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how that came about. How give us the history, how you met Raymond and you know what was the inspiration behind this track and getting it put down. Uh so Tracy Hamlin was kind enough to make the introduction to Raymond. Okay. Uh, and she mentioned that I would be a good fit for that song. Um he was he was looking for a singer and she made the introduction and it just was a great fit. You know, I heard the song and I loved it. And, you know, me and Raymond worked really well and he loved my vocals on it. So it was, it was a great situation. I mean, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about, you know, that was my first singing commercially and, and singing in the studio and doing the, the background vocals and that whole experience. So that was amazing. Okay. Does um, Raymond have any influence on um, your most recent two singles that you've released? Uh, no, no. I'm, I work with um, uh, my current producer, uh, Benny Pierce. Oh, Benny Pierce, okay. Yeah, Benny yeah. Pierce uh, out of uh, Annandale, Virginia, actually. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so he has produced uh, my latest two singles. Big up, Benny. I've yes, big say, up, Benny. I've and say. courtesy of... Philly Bop Productions, absolutely. Philly Bop Productions. <laughs> People, do not forget this name, okay? In a matter of fact, open up another tab. I'm going to give you um, some series of links to go and check while you're listening and watching this, okay? So, Philly Bop Productions is one. Open up that tab and check that out. All right? Cool. All right. So, we move on. With um, uh, the track that you released in 2020, the beginning of 2020, um, mm-hmm. Worthy. This track... Now, when I first listened to it, I was like, "Ah, oh, this ain't for me. This is for the women." <laughs> However, after listening to it several times, I'm like, "Well, hold, I can actually take something from this because what she's talking about is, you know, in the times that we're in right now, which is poignant. She's talking about the women." You know, um, who are made to be felt worthless, but you know, you are worthy of something. Be proud of who you are and all the rest that goes with it. What I got from it was like, show me some respect because I am who I am and I'm going to be who I'm going to be and I'm worth something. So that's what I got from it. What's that's awesome. What was the message? What was the message? <laughs> well, my initial. Of course, my initial message when I was writing that was immediately of writing, you know, writing to women initially, okay. kind of giving them, um, you know, just encouraging them and letting them know that number one, you are worthy of respect, hey. so you of love, and you are a queen, and you should treat yourself and own that. You don't need to wait for a person or a situation to define your worth so. gentlemen gentlemen are you listening to this <laughs> are you listening to this remember you came from your mother yeah all women are queens they deserve Absolutely. the respect and they are worthy yes you heard it from rena chanel yes. and 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 like you said uh we are all worthy men and women so indeed we all deserve respect period and indeed. i think that is the the theme that like you said, like other men have identified with the song and even have reached out to me and told me that song meant a lot to them. And then they also shared it with maybe the women in their life or their daughter to, just to reaffirm that, yes, you are worthy and I want you to feel good and about being who you are and don't let anybody tell you that you're not worthy. You come into a situation and you own that you are worthy. Woo! You heard it, Rena Chanel Right here in conversation with me, Jarzino on iLive UK. <laughs> Listen, where have you been? You've just got in? Don't move it. We're going to jump in this track right now. Worthy. Release 2020, the beginning of 2020. It's everywhere right now on all those major platforms and those not so major platforms. It's everywhere. We're going to take a listen, open up some tabs, go and buy this right now. Worthy. 
Rena Chanel. Check it out. At the start of this love affair, always dinner by candlelight. Seen right out of a fairy tale, but that was before all of the lies. You played a dangerous game with my heart. Told me all the things I wanted to hear. It nearly tore me all apart. All the tears I. Gotta find somebody worthy, somebody who deserves me. I love I'm waited all my life. Don't want you to fake it, 'cause baby I can take it. I need the rare and lasting kind because I'm worthy, so worthy. Hey y'all, this is Rena Chanel, and right now you're listening to some of the best independent soul music from around the world with DJ Jarzino. Thinking back how it used to be, you would always treat me right, and now it's like you don't need. Fuss and fight. I used to be your everything. Told me I was more than, more than enough. I'm taking back my sanity. I made up my mind, leaving this all behind. I gotta find somebody worthy, find somebody who. Me, I love and waited all the my I life. Love all the my Don't life. want you to fake it, 'cause baby I can take it. I need the rare and lasting kind because I'm worthy, so worthy. I'm worthy, and I deserve the People, this is Rena Chanel, and I've just stopped by to pick up DJ Jarzino, who always supports independent artists and their music. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, track call worthy. Have you copped it yet? Have you picked it up? Why not? Oh, you have. Good. 
So, um, let the people know, Rena. Um, give them some of your handles from now so they can go and follow you. We want to get that in early. We don't want to leave it to the end. Where can they follow you? Where can they get some more information about yourself? Uh, absolutely. You can get more information about me and my background at phillybopmusic.com. Spell that, spell that for us. Oh, sure. It's uh, P H I L L I B O P M U S I C dot com. There you go. And then my social media handles uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Rena, R I N A C H A N E L music. And I'm also on Twitter at the Rena Chanel. Yeah, it's important that the, not just Rena the. Chanel, the. Yeah, you won't find me. <laughs> right, you won't find her. <laughs> yeah, you won't find her. The Rena Chanel. Got it. Yes, on okay. Twitter, yes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, um, I want to delve back a little bit. I've done my research on you. You know, Rena Chanel, tax man, thank you very much for introducing me to this uh, lovely lady. Um, and I've done my research and I said, let me really find out about this lady. Tell me a little bit about the groove factor. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the groove factor. Because right now in these times where we're locked down um, because of COVID-19 pandemic, you guys are a band who are always gigging. You can't do this so much now. Tell me about the groove factor. I uh, guess... The Groove Factor uh, DC is a band that I sing with, and they are out of uh, Centerville in Virginia. Um, so at the moment, of course, we're not gigging as much. Um, you know, we're trying to trying to figure out some things, just like I'm sure a lot of other bands oh, yeah. and organizations are. But um, yeah, it's it's a band that I sing with, and uh, we sing. You know, we have fun singing all the hits from the '70s all the way up to to now, and you know everything from Tina Marie to Luther Vandross to uh, you know Anita Baker to Sade. So I mean, we have a lot of fun, and I love the band uh, experience because I love I love performing. I love getting out in front of people. You know, I'm a people person, mm-hmm. so I type to come up to you with the microphone in the crowd and and sing to you i actually i actually saw that on um i actually saw that on some of the youtube um bits that you've got out there (laughs) and i was like yeah they're actually going up do they know what they're going up to the crowd and and the crowd are like loving it they're all participating and that's 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 great man that's great Uh i love to see people with that energy and just including their fan base fantastic fantastic who who are the members who are the other members uh we have a couple of members uh let's see josh fertel is on uh on keys Mm -hmm. Uh, i believe on drums we have eric uh on bass guitar we have actually we're in between (laughs) bass players okay Uh, we have another guitarist uh ron ron's on guitar and then we have our um, <clears throat> uh, Ricky Beavers, who is our lead male voice. So we have a ton of fun yeah. kind of playing off each other's energy. So I, I, I like that. I like to have people that I can kind of play off their energy because, you know, I, I want to make it as fun as it can be. That's right. Of That's the right. Exper- I like to make it an experience. Yeah. Here, so. Most definitely. Most definitely. So, you know, it. As we said, in this time right now, we're going through COVID-19, the pandemic, and, you know, a lot of artists around the world are struggling because a lot of them do rely on gigging. And I I know you guys are are part of that. So it's got to be difficult. I I would say to all our listeners watching and and listening out there, um, you know, keep supporting. These guys will come back. COVID-19 is not going to be here forever and if it is here forever we are going to adjust to it where we are still able to be the people that we are i.e. musicians artists and so and so forth so you know Mm -hmm. it's, it's very important that you still support them go and buy the material 
and do whatever you can even if we've got to do it in um confinements of six people six people is better than no people you understand do what you can to support the right. artists 100 percent, 100 percent. we appreciate it no for, for real man it, it's got to be said so you know with us being in this lockdown how have you used the time that you've had obviously i know you've got a new track out so in one sense i know you've been doing that but i mm-hmm. mean in general how have you used that time to be productive uh for me i've just kind of you know because of course we can't go anywhere and and kind of live in the same way like we used to i've kind of taken that time to write more right so to try to dig in and to really challenge myself with uh, writing future songs for future projects and material. Um, I also got to wrap up, I believe it was last weekend or a couple of weekends ago, two weekends ago, uh, my first music video. Yes, I have a music video on the way. To which track? For Made. For Made. Yo. So hold on a minute. Maybe I'm missing something. Have you done a video for Worthy? I did not do a video for Worthy. And actually, that was part of the effects of initially with the first wave of the, the pandemic. So that kind of slowed that process. Okay. So then we kind of put a pin in that. And then, you know, I started working on Made, And then, you know, Made came out. And then we just decided to shift the focus on, on Made. Okay, Let, let's talk about that. Let's, as, as you've mentioned, made. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, as of September this 2020, Rena came with another. She's been working hard, trust me. And, you know, yes. courtesy of, of Benny, they've come up with this track here. There's someone else involved in this track as well, isn't there? Yes, we have had another songwriter named uh, Shawnee Credup. Shawnee, there we go. Okay. Shawnee is, yes, yeah, she's the other uh, co writer. So it's myself, Shawnee, and Benny Pierce who right. co wrote that song. And we actually wrote it over a weekend. <laughs> over a During, weekend? Over a weekend, yeah. Yo, you're so that good. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow. If I do say so. The okay. energy was just right. So, yeah, yeah. No, no, when the energy's right, it's right. You know what I mean? So, yeah i get you i get you so so give us the, a little bit of the story the background behind made you guys came together you know mm-hmm. who initially said you know what this will go with this and then how did that come about give us a story so made actually goes along uh with worthy because for me i i just wanted to have kind of related themes that number one people can relate to what i'm saying so of course you have to feel worthy yeah. and you have to respect yourself to be in a position to own who you are, Yo. authenticity. So made was just the the natural follow up to that. So and I wanted something that, you know, you could feel good and make you want to dance and, you know, make you smile. Mm-hmm. So that is the energy that I wanted for me. So I hope I hope listeners can feel that. Do me a favor. I ain't going to say no more. Introduce the track. You got the state. The platform is yours right now. Do what you got to do, girl. All right. This is for everyone. You know, I encourage you to check out my latest single, Made. It is all about owning your own brand of authenticity, being who you are, and celebrating, you know, who you are made to be. So please check it out. This is Rena Chanel. Check out my track, Made, played by DJ Jarzino on iLive Radio UK. When you look at me, tell me what you see. Automatically judge me. What do you think about me? Ooh, I'm more than my hair, all the clothes I wear. So Rena, what you say? You'll be you and I'll be me.
waste your time on mine. Don't think I'm crazy, just amazing. I am wonderfully made. Queens of the world, throw your hands up. Queens of the world, every woman, every girl. Judge me in every way. I just find my own beauty, authentically. I was made. This is Rita Chanel. Make sure you keep it locked to the UK's number one I Live UK. And don't forget to spread the word and share the link. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that made. Now, if that is not a track that you want in your selection, you don't need the selection. This needs it to be in your selection. So like I say, open up another tab, go and cop this right now. In a matter of fact, you should have done it already. Yeah? Okay, Rina Chanel is here chopping up with me, Jarzino, right here on iLive UK. We're having a blast. Do me a favor, spread the word and share the link right now. If you haven't done it, do it now. Share it with people, okay? We need to get this particular independent artist out there to the entire world. So, Rena, um, how are you feeling so far? I feel good. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> hey, that's what we like to hear. Okay, so I am a person that can only speak one language and that's English. That is it. I wasn't <laughs> um, one of those that was like, even though we had the options and we done German and we done French and in actual fact, my mother will probably be cussing me right now because my mother is um, St. Lucian. So I should be able to speak the Patois, the broken French or French itself, but it weren't for mm -hmm. me. So um, the point I'm making and guys, you know where I'm going. If you know Rena, this lady can sing in various languages go through them for us what languages <laughs> come on yes i can sing in french italian german and czech and, <laughs> and, and and what sorry <laughs> and of course we know english but yeah oh, you, well, you know it's five english counts five english counts, yeah. languages <laughs> do you speak those languages as well as singing them i mean that's a stupid question but it might not be uh, well, the only language I could actually at least have a conver conversational fluency would be French. So I was always uh, taking French in you know middle school and high school and even a little in college. So that's that's a language that I always wanted to learn. How all to right, speak. all right. I'm I'm just hearing in my ear that someone doesn't believe you. Can we get a few <laughs> lyrics in <laughs> French? What? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, a few lyrics in French, please. <laughs> Come on, Rena. It was opera though. It was opera. I was singing opera at the time. It all counts. It all... <laughs> okay, um, let me think. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Oh. 
let's do <clears throat> <laughs> I told you we do things different here at iLive UK. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's it's gonna be a little rusty, but I'll I'll do a little bit of something. Okay. Can you hear me? Perfectly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now you are going to open up another tab and get this material. This is the quality that we're dealing with. Independent artists. We're not talking about mainstream. She will be mainstream. Independent artist Rena Chanel giving it up to you. Come on, people. Come on, people. Thank you. No, thank you very much. I know that's off the cuff and I put you on the spot right there. <laughs> but we appreciate that. We appreciate it that. It was fine. It was a little rusty, but it was fine. No, that, listen, that didn't sound rusty to me at all. Look, if I had to sing right now, everybody will lose all our listeners yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we we won't go there we'll leave it to the professionals we leave it to the professionals okay. so you do jazz swing r&b soul and obviously opera um how many years you've been singing opera uh probably 13 years okay all right wow at least at least 13 years but yeah i i i have been studying and training um from all the way from kind of middle school and just being in, you know, classical choirs mm -hmm. and going to, you know, always being the one handed the classical solos that was, you know, I, it's funny. I didn't really understand that. That was just something that kind of came natural to me. Okay. And then on, I actually was studying it and actually taking and learning music theory and taking voice lessons and reading music and, and all of that. Okay. Do you play any instruments by any chance? I play a little bit of keyboard. Okay, cool. I, you know, I do use it as my instrument to, you know, like if I'm pulling together melodies and, and there's some ideas that I have, I'll yeah. go to my keyboard and, and, and play some chords around that. Okay. I'm, I, I, play, well, used, I used to play the drums. I play it very badly now. <laughs> I know there's some people out there laughing because nice. they've seen me. There's a video that's that's on the internet oh, no. with me <laughs> playing it really badly. But no, I used to in in high school. I used to be you know the the drum guy. Yeah, so very speak. cool. Yeah, and then I progressed to like DJing. I don't know, mixing tracks and then editing and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, the rest is history. So yeah. Great, great stuff. It's it's good to hear that you are able to play as well as being a vocalist, a singer, songwriter, that you can play instruments. I think it's very important for any person in the industry to have, you know, like a a collateral, if you if that's the right thing to say, of different things that they can do, not just one. Mm -hmm. So yeah. great. So um any um producing on the way? You're gonna be doing some producing yourself? learning how to do that there is a song that i will probably uh, co-produce in the future so yes Yo. that that is on in the work so i i just want to kind of learn as much as i can about all facets of you know what i do and what other people do around me so i can really have the proper appreciation for what they do and just understand when the process is right and when it's not 100 percent. so you said that you've got the the video that's finalized it's not quite released yet for made not yet right so what can we look forward to not to give nothing away but what can we look forward to is it going to be like a a movie style or just like your standard video not standard but you know what i mean <laughs> not to give too much away <laughs> it'll show it'll show you know some versatility you know because again worthy was you know from the song and and just kind of the cover art for that was was one kind of vibe and then yeah. now 
more of a fun, upbeat, so a lot more energy and, you know, and just kind of a positive, feel-good anthem. So you'll see me, you'll see that energy from me. Okay. So, look fun. forward to it. We look forward to it. <laughs> we definitely look forward to it. Um, yeah, man. Great, great, great. Uh, I want to just spin it all around, okay? Like I said, we do things a little bit different here at iLive UK and Jarzina just does it right off the cuff. So <laughs> I, I, I want to throw this at you right now. Um, you know a lot of people in your circles and you you seem to me like a very happy-go-lucky, friendly person. The people that you've got around you is, is loving and all this. However... What is your pet hate that someone does around you? Things that really get on your nerves that you don't like pe- to see people do? Um, well, just in general, I mean, I, I just try to be, you know, it, it might sound as a you know cheesy idea, but I try to just treat people with respect. You know, I just try to treat everybody that I encounter with respect and with kindness because, again... You know, you never know what that person is going through. Okay. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So I, I just try to not just immediately judge people because, you know, sometimes people do that and, you know, and then they don't know what they're saying. They could be spreading misinformation. So, you know, I, I try to keep my circle small and not get tangled up in the drama of the he said, she said and all that. Good answer good answer you know you should um consider working in a court of law or something like that because you evaded you know in a certain way you didn't come direct but no i like that because you know i would say i'm the type of person that um i don't let things get on top of me i may get anxious but i cannot judge a person i don't know I, I haven't my feet are not in their shoes so i don't know where they're coming from or what they've experienced directly so Mm -hmm. even though someone may come at me a certain way whether it be angrily verbally or sending mixed messages i don't confront it almost to the point of where two people are arguing who's listening Mm -hmm. so i tend not to argue i'm not an argumentative person the um, yeah and i understand where you're coming from when, when, when you put put it like that 100 percent. oh good try to i mean i would be the type of person to try to diffuse a situation ah okay so, what, you know, what month were you born november you're november born mm-hmm. um no. can you divulge the date the sixth the sixth <laughs> so you're scorpion Yes. All right. Put your hand. Put your hand to the screen. Give me a high put five. My hand to the Give me a high five. There are we you go. A, are you Scorpio? First of November. Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> First of November. Yeah. Very cool. All cool. All cool. So yeah, people. This is what Scorpios are like. Yeah, we're happy go lucky. We diffuse situations. Um, we don't like confrontation or anything like that. Yeah, we are one of the best people that you can ever have around you we have your back eternally but you get on the wrong side of us that sting comes out and you wish you never met us (laughs) (laughs) did i encapsulate the scorpion in the right way people are hating on scorpions that, right now that is that is included in the uh, scorpion <laughs> people are hating on scorpions right now but there you go ladies and gentlemen we have really <laughs> chanel listen girl it's been fabulous chatting to you a blast a blast hope you've enjoyed awesome. Hope you've enjoyed. I have definitely enjoyed myself. This has been fun. Um, let's let's go through some of your handles again, just in case people missed it out. We're gonna put it up on the screen, but um, let the people know again where they can contact you, where they can find your music. Uh, sure. So my social media handles are uh, for Facebook and Instagram at Rena Chanel Music, and that's uh, at R I N A C H. A N E L music, and that's both for Facebook and Instagram. And then I'm also on Twitter at the Rena Chanel. 
And then my music is everywhere. So wherever di digital music can be purchased, you will find made and you will find worthy. Go cop it, people. Support your independent artists. Rena Chanel, okay? Um, like I keep saying, we change the way you listen to music around here at iLive. And um, Rena Chanel, again, it's been a, a blessing. It's been an honor. Is there anyone that you want to like give a high five, a big up to? And you know, f <laughs> first of all, let's send a big shout out, guys, to Tax Man. Thank you very much, yes, Tax. Shout out to Tax Man. Thank you for the introduction. Yo. <laughs> uh, definitely shout out to my producer, uh, Benny Pierce. Whoop. So, uh, Philly Bot Productions. So, major shout out to you and, you know, for taking this journey with me. I appreciate it. Um, and shout out to the listeners. Thank you for taking your time to take time to listen to me and, and to be here with us. And I hope you enjoy and please support. Please support independent artists. There we go. You heard it from the one and only Rena Chanel right here on I Live UK. Keep it locked for where you got it. Lots more to come. Spread the word. Share that link. Rena, thank you very, very much. It's been a pleasure and do not leave it long. Hopefully when they open up those airways properly, you can come to the UK and sit and vibe with us right here in the studios. Okay. I would love that. All right. Keep supporting guys. Keep supporting. Rena Chanel. We out. Peace. <laughs>